In this concluding segment, I bring to you a woman whose aura of creativity is infectious. Take a look. She was just 10 year old when she started creating business plans. While all the plans did not transform into flourishing businesses back then, she continued chasing her ideas. And years later, her passion and perseverance did pay off. Today, she heads an event agency, a fashion line, a beauty salon, and an indoor play area. Her personal journey in life has also been an amazing blend of traditional values and modern thinking. I love meeting such passionate women entrepreneurs for whom sky is the limit and they dare to soar high. What gives you ambition? I come from a big family business mm -hmm. back uh, in Abu Dhabi. I loved events, I loved creating businesses, I love seeing them succeed. So what are these businesses? Um, I own Eventra, an event mm -hmm. company. I, I co-founded Dollhouse, mm -hmm. it's a beauty salon. Yes. Um, I, um, own, I founded Sarkaya, mm -hmm. it's a fashion label sold to different stores. Okay. And it's a bespoke tailoring. Mm -hmm. And I co-founded Fairy Fields, which is a play area located in uh, Jumeirah Center. So as a child, what were the things that you really learned that keeps you going now? To never give up. My dad, I would go to him as a young, uh, as a young kid and say, Baba, I want to open this. Like, you know, I have this idea and, mm -hmm. oh my God, I think it's going to work. I think it's amazing. And he would like, okay, create the business plan and come and show me. Wow. And he, he never told me, even though I was a kid, mm -hmm. you know, like maybe 10, 11, 12, uh, just growing up and um, and I had these ideas. He never stopped me. He would actually listen. And that, um, that helped me growing up. Like He encouraged you always. He encouraged you always, me yeah. to research more, to create. I'm like, what's a business plan, you know? Uh, I went online, I was searching and asking people. Um, I created, uh, you should see my, uh, <laughs> my samples of business plans mm -hmm. and things I had in mind. And um, just to be persistent. When you have something in mind, uh, you'll get there. Coming from a huge business uh, family, as you said, there must be pros and cons. Yes. What were those? Um, people just assume, always assume that like my success is because of my family. Mm. Yes, they helped me emotionally, like my father. My husband was my biggest supporter. Um, but I didn't get any financial help or I didn't get anything from them. Uh, I've done everything from my own savings to, you know, I went from company to company to offer what I had and uh, you worked hard for I it. worked hard for it. In this region now you see so many Arab women really uh, following their dreams and believing in their dreams and I'm sure it makes you feel really proud. It makes me feel so proud and not only that, like they were the, the few that in the beginning like when they started their journey but we didn't know about them because they weren't coming out in social media and news and now they're they're out there they're and out that's there. good because everyone knows more about them and it encourages more women to do it's the inspiring. same. It's inspiring. Yeah, it's really inspiring. And you have three kids? Yes. Wow. Third one here. Third one. <laughs> coming soon. <laughs> coming soon. <laughs> How are you balancing everything? When you have things to do, you prioritize yourself, your work and thank God um, I try to do my lunch breaks at home. I try my best to be with them. What are the things that you really would like to share with other women who are right now on, on that stage where they're wanting to start something? Uh, go yourself. Find out what you need to find out. Don't rely on others too much. If you need to find something and you know where to find it, go ask entities, go ask questions. Don't, don't be shy to ask. Um, and when there's a will there's a way there's no stopping you where there's a will there's a way yeah. that's so it's it's so important to really believe in that because it it is what it is yes it's so important and once they know that that power is within them they can do miracles i wish back in the day i had more of a mentor yes uh, that i would benefit from and yes. i and it's going to help me solve so many questions and it feels good to have someone you can just pick up the phone or email and say listen I'm going through this. I'm going then, through yeah. this. Do you think it's normal? Um, what shall I do next? And a bit of guidance. Always helps. Uh, always helps. What keeps you happy and positive? Just positive thinking, honestly. My children are happy. My children are safe. Being, Being grateful blessed. and yeah. 
Thank you so much. All the best for the third baby. Thank you so much. <laughs> and thank you for your time to come on the show. I really enjoyed talking to you. Thank you so much. Me too.